want to, to just remind you where you're going there is an enemy who is not ready to give up his territory without a fight. Hmm? There is an enemy that is not going to let his captives go without a fight. The people you want to be healed, the people you want to be saved, the nations you want to be delivered, they have one who owns them that you're going to dispossess. You have what I say. That you need to be equipped to dispossess. Someone said dispossess. You must be ready to go and dispossess. Because he has been in charge for many generations. Amen. Amen. And you're going to challenge him. But he's going to put up a fight. And his power, as you have the Holy Spirit, which is the source of your power, the enemy of destinies. Can you balance these microphones, please? Sir? The enemies of destiny is the spirit of witchcraft. Write a big headline. War against the spirit of witchcraft. Why? It's the spirit against the harvest. It's the spirit that rules bloodlines and families. Others are subject to it. It's what is causing the bondages in our father's houses. Freedom from bondages in my father's house is about delivering a family from the spirit of witchcraft. Do you have this book? If you don't have it, get a copy. If you have one copy, buy another ten. Some people, you don't need to preach to them. You tell them, there's nothing for free. Give me 50,000, you take this one. Read it in one week, you'll be delivered. Some people... When you explain to them, they need to sit down and read. And all the things we see in this book are about the spirit of witchcraft. Things like uh, marriage in my father's house, altars, covenants, transferences, and all others. Uh, about the spirit of witchcraft. Many will be try to give it a good name. But I will name it for what it is. Many will may call it habit. Someone has a bad habit, bad temper. Uh, it's an attitude. An attitude issue. It's just attitude. It's just rebellion. It's just stubbornness. It's just addiction. It's just someone just is not social. Someone is just always resisting authorities. Someone is just judgmental and critical. Someone is over demanding. I will give it its name. It is the spirit of witchcraft. Spirit of what? Now name it as it is. Because the, when we deal with it, eyes will open. 
You know the spirit of witchcraft brings spiritual and physical blindness. Brings stagnancy in life. There are many churches that are under the grip of the spirit of witchcraft. There are many families. Are we balancing? I feel we are crashing. There are many families that are under the control of this spirit of witchcraft. Where you are going to preach the gospel, where you are taking the crusade, what rules there? When you see the drunkardness, the drug addiction, the prostitution, the all kind of resistance, religion is the spirit of witchcraft. By the religion is the major spirit of witchcraft. Religion is built in, on the spirit of witchcraft. It's built on idolatry, sorcery, spiritualism, uh, spiritualism, spiritualism, divination. No, That's what religion is built on. All you who are rooted in religion is the spirit of witchcraft. That's why religion cannot stop you to sin. You keep sinning, but you're a good religious person. Religious people go to shrines. They go to, they go to witch doctors. But on Sunday, they are deacons and elders and fathers and priests. But they go to... They, they, so, religion is a spirit of witchcraft. And it, it works in those four I've mentioned. And where you are going, you will encounter resistance mostly from the spirit of religion. Religion will be the, the you go, you're gonna start the consecration, you're gonna start the ministry, you're gonna start the revival. But let me tell you, your biggest enemy will be the spirit of religion. Witchcraft, the spirit of witchcraft has seven key legs. One is religion, two is necromancy. One is what? Number one is religion. Number two is necromancy. Number three is astrology. Are you writing? I wrote battle. Number, what's number one? <laughs> number one is what? The spirit of religion. By the way, you can be a you can claim to be a Pentecostal. But you are under the spirit of religion. You are not led by the Lord. Because religion means the works of the flesh. Man made things. So we are battling number one what? What? Religion. Number two. Necromancy. Number three. Astrology. What is it? What is necromancy? <laughs> tell me, tell me what is necromancy. Working, ministering, talking with the dead. That is witchcraft. That's then divination. 
divination. Okura gura. Okwe, okwera guza. Okwera guza. Eh, okwera guza. Okwera guza. Okwera osalosa. Okwera <laughs> guza la guza. Eng. Ah, chokere bluzo. Divination. Divination. So there is, these are the seven key legs of the spirit of witchcraft. You have four. How much did you pay me? Pastor <laughs> uh, you will pay. If she refuses to pay, which court will I take her? <laughs> you know when we were young, someday you can have your money. <laughs> and mommy tells you, lend me your money. <laughs> so you lend her the money. Then the time comes. You come, to, you are a debt collector. You say, Mommy, the money I lent you. Then she asks you, Don't you eat food here? You don't eat food here. <laughs> By the way, parents, have you ever repented that? <laughs> Have you ever repented cheating your children that you did not pay? You know the devil can use that against you. Listen, do you know the enemy can use that against you? That you did not pay the debt of your son. Yakuola gave you the 10,000 say, don't you eat food at home and there was no more <laughs> you don't pay back the same like giving your husband money <laughs> you know how many times you have sinned and paid the you say, honey, I have some issue here. Send me some one million. And she gives you her money. That, 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 that's not her money. That's, that's money for the woman. It is a sentence. It's not her money. It's not her money. It's, sent, it's money for the woman. And you take it. The day she asks for it. <laughs> that day you'll be so much in the spirit. <laughs> and you demand. Where did she get it from? That's why. I no longer. <laughs> I no longer get that. So up to now, I've not paid. Even today, they are still demanding. I decided I'll not borrow again. I don't know whether they no longer give me debts or I'm the one who is no longer borrowing. Or maybe someone decided that they don't give me debts anymore because I don't pay. But God will help me. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Okay, we have, we have, num we have four. What's number one? Religion. Number two is what? Hmm? Number four is what? Number, number what? Number three is what? Number four is what? Number five is gambling. Eh? Those lotteries. <laughs> lotteries is witchcraft. Lottery dogo. Betting. Lotteries, betting dogo. is witchcraft. Dogo. It's the spirit of witchcraft. Dogo. The spirit of witchcraft. Dogo. Eh? And it's a way of robbing people. 
There's a man who came in Uganda some years ago and took away all the man of Ugandans. Now he's the richest man in Uganda. What did he bring? <laughs> scratch, scratch, scratch. Scratch, scratch. And that was the spirit of witchcraft that came in the land and, took and exchanged the economy, the wealth of Ugandans, and gave to the people of that race. So the people of that race control all the economy of the wealth because of the spirit of witchcraft, which came through Rotary. Gambling is a spirit of witchcraft. Zala Moyogwa Dogo. Amen. Amen. Even that paper. Akapapula Kamsaja Kivasiva. Football which which you know that that betting. Betting. Betting is which spirit of witchcraft. Okay. We are number five. Or oh, number chano. four. Chaukutan. Do you finish divination? Yes. Huh? Yes. Do you finish divination? Yes. Do you finish? Huh? Okay, let's go back. Today, Number one is what? Religion. Number two? Necromancy. Number three? Astrology. Number four? Divination. Number five? What? Gambling. Ah, I thought I forgot for gambling. Mm -hmm. Number six, many of you have never known it, but let me say it. Because uh, many of you do not know the spirit of witchcraft. Prostitution is the spirit of witchcraft. Now, prostitution is not only one who goes on the streets and waits for a man. But even you who go to a man because you want him to pay your rent. That's the spirit of witchcraft. That's prostitution. But behind it is the spirit of witchcraft. That is a spirit, that's another. Where there is witchcraft, there is prostitution, including selling birthrights. Number seven, a sensual worship. A sensual worship. Number eight, the worship of spirits or what we call spiritualism the worship of spirits which is spiritualism now whatever you hear where there is a zim somewhere zim not eh? spiritualism then there is the other whatever ends with SM. Watch out. What is him? Kazim Wako. Catholicism. Taoism. Zimoyo. Pentecostalism. Zim. Radicalism. Zim. Tribalism. Zim. Alcoholism. Ah. Mm -hmm. what, what, is him, what is Zim is there? Zim in the It is spiritualism. It comes from the spiritualism. Chiva spiritualism. Okay. So behind where they put that behind means there's a worship of a spirit. Some even worship saints. They worship dead men as their saints. Others worship the spirit of the prophet. Others are worshiping the spirit of their father. 
And that is a spirit of witchcraft. Astrology, I talked about it. Did I talk about astrology? Yes. Which is, oh, there's no astrology. It was there, number three. Astrology, yes. Astrology, that is, that is using the stars and what other than God. And you find that uh, when you talk about all of this, you find deep root idolatry. And the power of the spirit of witchcraft is humanism. It's idolatry which brings out sorcery. And these are going to be your enemies in rescuing destinies. These are going to be your enemy to take a territory. Some territories are rooted in religion. Other territories are rooted in necromancy. Others are under the speed of astrology. That is magicians and all that. Then there are diviners that are controlling territories and families. Then the power of prostitution where we see sexual perversion lesbianism all, all that is prostitution then ascends to worship to worship the tradition this is our traditional worship people will worship anything but, there's a, but the, behind the spirit of witchcraft then spiritualism. Then what? Spiritualism. That is the worship of spirits. Which is not the, the not not only the one the one true God. And I hear spiritualism sometimes in the church. I hear because someone can say. Receive the spirit of prosperity. Receive the spirit of marriage. Receive the spirit of money. I release to you the spirit of money. Already you've been bewitched. You're under witchcraft. The spirit of, of what? What spirits you, you receive in church? When you come for service. The spirit of what? The spirit of money. The spirit of marriage. The spirit of business. Now that's spiritualism. And most of these spirits are either fallen angels or fallen sons of God, which they call gods. And they rule territories, they rule spheres of society, they rule, they rule things. And I want to add, add another one here. Yeah. I don't know if my time will allow to come to number 12. Religion, yes. Addiction. Addiction is the spirit of witchcraft. Addiction. Where you have drugs, alcohol, and the rest. And this will be your enemy. Uh -huh. Where we have religion, we have all false religions. All you, all, all you know about false religion. Ma Spiritualism has mammonism, has all that, all those. And number seven, number seven, number seven. What, what number we're on? Oh, we're almost there. Okay. The next, it work, another leg is occultism. But they call it the occult. Don't say they call it the occult. Because different the occult is different from the worship of spirit. Occult is uh, people accessing forbidden realms of knowledge for spiritual powers. 
abantu okugenda mu bwengula obwatukisibwa olwo kufuna amanya agomwe actually aha uh -huh. then where that's what we we have satanism and uh, and devil worshippers in the occult. Now, Satanism never sins a Satan. Why am I saying this? I'm not teaching you witchcraft. I'm teaching you spiritual mapping. I'm teaching you so that you, you know what you're praying against. And you know and, that's, and you know what you're going to meet there. Many of us, you have encountered the spirit of the occult. And it's the battle you are in your you are with in your city. This occult. Occult. Not on, not not just religion, but occult. Possessing and possessing and, and, and destroying souls. I always want to use this for when I talk about the occult. It is the business of buying and selling souls. Occult, the occult, occult is the buying and selling of souls of men. It is the, it's the Babylon spirit. The buying and selling. It works in trade. Nations are uh, covenanting with this occult. And whoever has more soul is, is the one who has more powers. Buying and selling souls. Hmm? When you look in the book of Ezekiel, there are a group of women called soul hunters who hunt souls of God's people. They make magic magic to hunt souls. They call themselves prophets and prophetesses. But their work is to buy and sell soul, to capture souls and sell them. That's why in Revelation you find the things that they were selling, cinnamon, gold, and what, and they say, and finally, the souls of men. So they were, the things they were buying on, and, and selling in ships was the souls of men. Now, those that have gone to the, are uh, under the occult system, those are the ones who are buying and selling souls. This includes uh, musicians. One of the ways witchcraft is transferred is through music. One of the gates of, of witchcraft is music. Because those in the who are in occultism sell their soul in exchange for to a spirit. So they become, they release power, they become famous, they become great leaders. Because every time you see the word occult, remember secret knowledge of the serpent. Knowledge, knowledge. The secret knowledge of the serpent. Many of the people that are in the occult are called reptilians. They have the seed of human and the seed of a reptile. When you look in your eyes, you see the eyes of a reptile. And many of you, through their eyes, they disarmed you. 
and they put that seed in you which becomes a snake moving in your body. When they are coming for a show, they come with their serpent in the bag. When they are coming for service, they come with snake in the car. Because it is the occult, the, the secret knowledge of the snake. The secret wisdom knowledge of a snake of Lucifer. Lucifer. The serpent. The ancient serpent. Satan. The dragon. When you hear people calling themselves cobra, viper, viper, you have some perfumes called python. <laughs> you, have, you have drinks called python. You have dresses called viper. Some of you have good dress. Snake. You get, I want the snake skin. The shoes. The skin, the snakes, the bags. The snakes. That is for you look at a bag. But listen, that's a spirit of witchcraft. That spirit of witchcraft. Number 11. Cursing. Cursing. Cursing is a, is a language also. Do you know cursing is a language? Where we find rap, rapping. And chanting. No. There's something people, there's a language that every word is, they put a curse. When they are actually talking to one another, they are cursing. Ah, you fool, how are you? You dog. You're smart. Someone calls another. Chikazi. Oriotia. Go say. Chikazi. Chikazi. And they call them each other Chikazi. They call it. They eat a Chikazi. Chikazi, send. send me some money, Chikazi. Now, do you know how your children are told cursing at school? Their friends are teaching them cursing as a language, as slang, as a street, street talk. But it's cursing. And they curse by a spirit. They cast by the spirit. And people release songs full of curses. And someone says, I'm going to kill you. And people say, Amen. And they say, I'm going to kiss, I'm going to kill you. Ah, la, la, kiss. And they enchant a curse. Most of the songs and that are not of God that become hits. In them there is a curse. But it is put, it's hidden in what they call black mask, back masking, sorry. Last but not least. Number 12. I don't know if you've heard this one. It's called sublimination. Aha, Sublime sounds, sublime voices. Sounds or information that bypass 
the memory, the mind of a human being. And they go in their spirit without them knowing. Have you ever listened to a song? You don't want it. It's not of God. But by force, you begin to sing it. <laughs> And like, you don't want it, but you have to sing it. There is a, that someone just raped you. And went beyond your will. And deposited a record in your spirit. And they can even demand you to drink or to take drugs. Or to fornicate or to masturbate but you don't know how it has come a sound came in and triggered a command which is the spirit of witchcraft now all of these when you say Lord I'm going out to deliver souls I'm going to call the nation to repent these are going to be your first frontline enemies. Religion, necromancy, astrology, divination, gambling, prostitution. I don't want to spiritualism, addiction, occultism, cursing, sublimation. Sublimation, all that. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna deal, learn how to pray against them. You know, in the book of Numbers chapter 23, Okubala, Abiri Musatu. Numbers chapter 23, are you there? Okubala, Abiri Musatu. You know the story of this prophet. Umanyi, Ebiafa Kunabiono. You know the prophet? Nabio Mumanyi. He said, Come cast Jacob for me and come and denounce Israel. Jangu, Kodimire Yakobo. Baram was hired to cast. And under the spirit of which Balaam could curse and could also bless somehow. And Barak told Balaam, I have arranged seven altars and offered on each altar a bull and a ram. No, no, no. And I'm on verse. Are you there? That's verse 4, 24. Have you seen that? So, twenty-three four says, I've prepared altars and I want to come and cast them for me. But, when you look at verse 20, chapter 22, they are telling in verse 6 yet, come now cast these people for me since they are too mighty for me but perhaps I shall be able to defeat them and drive them from the land but God said to Baram you shall not go with them you shall not cast the people for they are blessed you shall not cast them but they are blessed that's what God told him told that man and Baram answer, answered and said to Sab to, to, to Barak that though he give me silver and gold the Lord may I will not go I could not go beyond the command of the Lord my God to do less or more you know that it continued, continued until, until they break these altars. And then it began to say, how can I cast whom God has not cast? Now listen to the principle here. The spirit of witchcraft is not like flu that gets you without you knowing. It has its entry. 
It has the gates. When you close the gates, it cannot come in. Hmm? You need to know which gates to close. Are we here? So, Baram tried to, was willing to curse. But he could not. He could not. Why? He gives the reason. In 23, 23. There is no... If you, let, let's come from verse 20. Behold, I received a command to bless. He has blessed and I cannot revoke it. Do you hear the word? I cannot revoke it. The Lord will give you an irrevocable blessing. God will put upon you a blessing that witches cannot revoke. He says, I receive a command to bless. He has blessed and I cannot revoke it. The blessing on your ministry, the witches cannot revoke it. Look at verse 21. And I want it in New King James Version, please. Verse 21. This verse says, He has not beheld misfortune in Jacob. He has not observed iniquity in Jacob. The word iniquity there is the same word that means misfortune. Let me declare today. Misfortunes shall be far from you. I said misfortune shall not be found in your father's house. He has not observed misfortune which is iniquity. He has not beheld misfortune in Jacob. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that no misfortune will ever bland in these people. No misfortune will be found in your ministry. I said no misfortune will be found in your ministry. No misfortune will be found in your father's house. No misfortune will be observed in your business. No misfortune will be found in your body. In the name of Jesus. Every agent of misfortune in your life be removed. Every agent of iniquity in your father's house be dismantled. Every agent of misfortune in your bloodline vanish today. I said vanish today. I said vanish today. I said vanish today. I said vanish today. I close every gate of iniquity. I close the gates of iniquity of many generations by the blood of Jesus. I close gates of misfortunes. I close the gates. I close the gates of iniquity in both my bloodlines where I married and where I was born. I close the gates of misfortune in the name of Jesus. We close the gates of iniquity. We close the gates of iniquity. We close the gates of misfortunes. We close the gates of disaster. We close the gates of troubles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now listen. He says he has not observed iniquity in Jacob. Nor has he seen wickedness in Israel. Another word for wickedness is trouble. The ESV says 
He has not observed iniquity, no sin, trouble in Israel. Trouble shall be far from your house. I say trouble shall be far from your bloodline. I say trouble shall be far from your children. Trouble shall be far. There shall be no wickedness again. I decree in the name of Jesus. There shall be no wickedness. Shakata. There shall be no no wickedness. There shall be no wickedness in your life again. May God judge and root out wickedness in your path of ministry. In your path of ministry. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There shall be no wickedness. There shall be no iniquity. We close the gates of iniquity. We close the gates of wickedness. We close the pathways of iniquity. We close the pathways of wickedness. In the name of Jesus. Take a moment and pray. This is deliverance. This is deliverance. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We gates of iniquity. Gates of wickedness. Be locked right now. Be closed forever. Be closed forever. In the name of Jesus. My gates are free from iniquity. My gates are free from wickedness. The gate of birth in the name of Jesus is free from iniquity. Lift your voice and pray. You must Lift your voice and pray. You must say, your In the sabi. mighty name of Jesus. And said today, gates of iniquity, gates of wickedness, gates of wickedness in my bloodline are locked forever. Are locked forever. Are locked forever. Are locked forever. In the name of Jesus, we close pathways of iniquity. We wipe them away. We close pathways of wickedness. We close pathways of necromancy. Pathways of sorcery. Pathways of divination. Pathways of gambling. Pathways of evil trades. Pathways of sorcery. We close those pathways. Pathways of iniquity. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, pray. Take five minutes, pray. Close the gate of wickedness close the gates forever pathways of wickedness pathways pathways of addiction pathways 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 close them 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 we close the gates of religion. We close the gates of the promise. We close the gates of the promise. In the my name of Jesus, every gate of astrology, we close it now. In the name of Jesus, to eternity, we close it now. In the name of Jesus, the gates of definition, we close them now. In the my name of Jesus, the gates of gambling, we close them to eternity. In the my name of Jesus, the gates of prostitution, we close them forever, forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, we close the gates of ancestral worship. In the mighty name of Jesus, we close the gates of spirituality. In the mighty name of Jesus, we close the gates of addiction, the gates of occultism, the gates of casting. We close the gates of sublimation. In the mighty name of Jesus, forever, forever, we close them. We close them to eternity. We put a seal in the name of Jesus. We close those gates in the mighty name of Jesus, never to be open, never to be open in our lives, never to be open in our family. In the name of Jesus, we shut the gates of religion. In the mighty name of Jesus, we shut. 
that gets some religion in the my name of Jesus. We shout that gets some new promise in the my name of Jesus. We shout that gets some new promise in the my name of Jesus. Shatata baragada gaba baba zogoto koba baba rege de 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 riba. We shout that gets some astrology that gets some new promise. Marabaga da 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 rebogo zogo baba. Every gate of wickedness we close it. We close it. That gets some occultism. We close them. Mashaka takaba robo bobo. Jesus. Amen. Sit down. Now, these legs, these things, it says here in scripture, he has not observed. He has not what? And so this, then he says down, that by the way, Atera, there is no enchantment dogo, against Jacob. Yakobo. Yeah, there is no what? He said, there is no enchantment that te, can work now. Dogo kola kati. That is verse 2 and verse 23. There is no enchantment. Give it to me in... Okay, that's 23. Give me verse 23, please. Abiri Musatu. Numbers 23. Huh? For there's no enchantment against Jacob and no divinity. Give me in, 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 in New King James Version, please. Aha, uh -huh, that's good. That's what, I, that's what I wanted. Now, the ESV calls the enchantment. But then it says enchantment is sorcery. For there is no sorcery against Jacob. The sorcery there means there is no enchantment. There is no spell casting that can work. In other words, you, you can't enter them. Why? Sorcery cannot work on them. So listen carefully. Because as a minister, it's easy when you go to the work, the work of God. And through sorcery, these divi these seven, twelve things come in your life. Through sorcery. Through enchantment. Mm -hmm. the, the 12 are the major ones. But there are other many ways. But it's all the spirit of witchcraft. The process through which they are doing this, this to, 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 uh, to weaken you is through initiation. 
So there are ways that people are initiated that you need to watch. One, food. <laughs> Two, sex. Four, three. Three, body marking, like tattoos, it's an initiation. Four, money, did I finish money? Mm? Those, are, those are ways that you, are in, you can be initiated. Did I say food? Hmm? There's a food? Okay. Did I say uh -huh. did I say body marking? The cutting of the body. Oh tattoos. Tattoo. When when they were cutting you, it was eleven, eleven, eleven. <laughs> In the chest. On the breast. On the tongue. And elsewhere. That was marking a gate. So that gate remained. So anyone of the twelve can come in. When you received money, it may have been used. How about food? There are many lives. The spirit of which will access them through fists. Those that are in the occult, their biggest capture is a fist. Their biggest capture is what people eat and take to their homes. Because they get their own blood and other fruits of their bodies and mix in the food or in the thing they're going to feed the people. So, because you have been defiled by their fruits, the spirit of witchcraft comes. Even in religious gathering, someone can gather here and begin to serve the spirit of witchcraft. Especially when your food is free. Where you are going, hear me and hear me well. For the mission, buy whatever you are to eat. Don't accept free food because you are a man of God. They will be initiating you. Some of these dinners, they invite you in homes. Watch out. I'm sorry I don't come for dinners in your house. Don't, when I come, oh, the man will, will eat at our home. I don't eat in your home. I eat in a hotel where I have paid for the food. Amen. Amen. <laughs> don't eat me from there. Amen. Amen. When you talk about things like those are gates all. The spirit of witchcraft has many people through pornography. <laughs> through pornography. <laughs> through fantasy. <laughs> there are many other ways. But all of them are initiations. Parents initiate children because they are authorities. And then they open them to further 
possession of the spirit of witchcraft. Some people come in your meetings, in your fellowship, in your prayer altar, and for years, the assignment is to initiate with the spirit of witchcraft. It, the altar to be, they come, they become members, but they have strategic plans to initiate the altar in the spirit of witchcraft. And they initiate you through laying of hands and prophesying to you. Because trans prophecy is a transference of spirit. So if someone prophesies on you and you agree, you are initiated to witchcraft. You are initiated to witchcraft. Many of you who will have prophesy man of God, prophesy. You are initiated into something. Hmm. I know many missionaries who go to, to places to do the work of God and they end up dying. They end up uh, being initiated. They go, they went to serve God. They return with the son of a witch. They come with a pregnancy of a wizard. They have been initiated. So when you read scripture here, when Balaam failed to cast to initiate them, you know what he did? He said, the prophet failed, but he sent the most powerful devil's agents, the, the daughters of Moab. And they went and invited the people to the sacrifices of their gods. Now look at verse 25. The, chapter 25, sorry. Verse 2. Verse 1. When Israel lived in Shittim, the people began to haul with the daughters of Moab. So what Baram did we see it in Revelation. He, he said to, the, to Barak, these people we have failed. Now what you do, send the most trusted weapons. The beautiful girls. Send the beautiful girls. Ministers of God here. Men here. When, you have, when God sends you to South Africa, South Africa, watch the daughters of the Moabites. Men of God here. When you happen to go to a nation called South Africa, Satan is trusted weapons are the daughters of Moabites. They are so easy and willing and available. Watch. And Botswana. Botswana. Watch also. When you go to Botswana. I'm, I, I'm telling you. When I'm going to those nations, I tell my wife, you have to go with me by fire. The Moabites are there. The Moabites, the, those daughters of Moab, they are so deep that even the prophets have fallen. When you go to South Africa and Botswana, South Africa and, Botswana and you're a man of God without your wife, without your wife, <laughs> not the wife at home, she, she must be the bodyguard. 
She must be the bodyguard. I know by a mukumi. That's how the spirit of witchcraft disarms men of God in those nations. Well, but you, my own God, go away. Go and blame us. I just want to know who I'm with. Those, those powers. Those daughters are as available as rain. Baba, we vary in the Nkuba Bweri. Where you are so available, we vary that as a man of God, Gomsaja Wakatonda. Remember, you are under the spirit of the land. You kida Owero the ones who are more so. You are not in your jurisdiction. Tori mo matuari go. What you're going to deal with in October is that spirit. Five days of repentance. Because when the spirit leaves, sickness will leave. Rebellion will leave. And the land will be delivered. Yeah. Yeah. It's what you're going to deal with in that nation. Hey. Amen. Amen. And even here in Uganda, now one of Uganda, I fear to move to Kumba Mayinja, but I would have told you there are some places, there are some cities you don't visit without your wife. You go to Fort Porto one day. Don't go without your wife. I'm telling you. When you are going to Mbali, you go with your wife to do the work of God. Mm. Because that is how men are initiated. They sent the daughters of Moab and look at how they initiated them. They invite, these invited the people to sacrifice to their goats and the people ate and the what the people ate that's why one of the remedy what destroys the spirit of witchcraft is fasting the people ate and bowed down to their gods and what happened Israel yoked himself to Baal at Peor. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. And the Lord said to Moses, Take all the chiefs of the people and hang them in the sun. That's how that's how God hates witchcraft. That he said, go and kill even the chiefs. Because witchcraft brings the anger of God in the nation, in the land. What you are seeing as riots, as you are seeing these days as violence in our streets, listen, listen, even here the attacks. Remember we talked about the youth, the microphone went off. Amen. Amen. We've overcome it. Oloza manda no sebo. Chintu chirala nyo chituluwa na chuti no. Ah. Chirala nyo. Eh. Temuseka monsabiri. Don't laugh. Pray for me. Chituluwa na chosu chaburi. Jochino. What we are fighting is not usual. Spirit of witchcraft. Omoyo gwe dogo. Amen. Amen. 
the young people when the rebellion you see because they have been exposed to witchcraft through the internet they are initiated every day to, to the occult to astrology to necromancy to voodoo new age new age I will not go and do that new age witchcraft today. But it's very now in our days so much they do all these perception, ESPs, what, vibration, energy work, laws of attraction, all that deep in witchcraft. Scientology and all Scientology this. And other things you are, people are involved in. Then there is one that is many of you do not know is witchcraft. Deep witchcraft. All over the world. It's called Zionism. It's a deep, deep works with the dead and command different Kabbalism and all these and, and other, other things. But all, all of them they can only work in you if they have an alliance in your bloodline. If you have overcome the spirit of witchcraft in your bloodline, in your family tree, in, in your foundation, in your father's house, they will try but they will say we have not found iniquity where in Jacob not in the person not in the man he said I have not found iniquity in Jacob and I've gone also in Israel and I've not found sorcery so when this man was raising altars and he looked at Israel. He went back in the bloodline. He went back and began to search in Jacob and said, by the way, enchantment cannot work on this because I have found no iniquity in Jacob which I can use against them. Are you getting it? So, if it's not dealt with in your family tree, as you rise, they will search your bloodline. They will search your family tree and begin to incite familiar spirits that know you that they will give information about you. You over all we see now. Can I give you a better microphone, please? All we see in our children, all we see in our churches, all we see in our at workplace. Why is it that the witch attacks you only and disarms you? They have an alarm. Chili. 